This isn't finished, but I'm about to show you the progress that we've made on the van. <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> oh, I'm so freaking proud. It's unbelievable. So I'm staying it for the first time tonight. <laughs> Let's go in. <laughs> oh my God. I'm so happy. We've got the little table on the wishies. Spinny spin spin, la 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 la, and it comes off. So if I undo this, that's it. That's the mechanism. That bit goes in that hole, and then you tighten it up, and that is my table. So let's pop that out the way for the time being. So as you can see, We've done quite a bit. I have filmed it. I will put the episodes out, but I'm just so excited. I am like, this is the most it's been put together. We've painted um, the pink on. We've made another little cubby hole. New little cubby hole under there. You know, all the pink, the green, the table, the cushions. I've just hung that over there because I am going to sleep in it tonight. So that just blocks off into the garage. Mum's put together, these are just pinned, but Mum has put together a lovely little curtain on a rail just for tonight. That looks good, doesn't it? So I went, well, Mum went back and got more of this fabric for me because we just loved it. And um, the pink was taken out of the fabric. So yeah, I thought that looked really nice. Let me know what you think in the comments. Again, this is just literally pinned. She's not done anything with it. It was just so I could stay in it tonight. And I've got the bed in with quilts and pillows. And um, there's another little cover for that as well. Mum's made another little cover for that window, which is just this for the moment. Again, just pinned so I can cover up that when I go to sleep. <laughs> so Mum and Dad have gone away in their motorhome. I'm going to get Savannah and I'm going to bring her in here and we're gonna stay on my parents' drive for a night or two while they're away. So this is the first night I'm actually gonna stay in it. So I'm really excited. So that's why we've just kind of like put bits together, like the um, curtains and this, just to make sure that I can stay in it basically. Does it look good with the bed in? Eee. So this was another freebie that we got from the same person that gave us the kitchen worktop, but I just thought, I liked the marbly effect, um, but it didn't. they didn't have enough of this to do the countertop. So let me know what you think. That does come off and then goes in the top there. So when I'm not using it, I lift this off and it fits in there. And then if you also want, this also comes off that piece, it's just in three bits, this piece. So we can pop that up here out of the way as well. And then if you want, I, you can also pull this one off. So there we have it. And I am in a very reflective mood, very proud, very happy, very excited. 
all the nerves have just gone instantly as soon as we put the bed in I just I'm not I'm not worried anymore about anything so what I've got to go do now is because I'm going to stay in this tonight I'm going to cook I'm going to cook a risotto in here later I don't want to use the oven yet because I haven't actually burnt it off there's still that new smell and when I'm in here I don't want to do that so I need to do that when I've got air airflow so I thought I can use the hobs and I can make a risotto. So we'll make a risotto later. But first, I have to go into my parents' loft and basically rummage. So I had a four-bedroom detached house when I got ill. And um, I've just got smaller and smaller and smaller. So I have loads of stuff in storage. Like, all my house stuff is in storage. My kitchen stuff, everything like that. So I've got to go in the loft and basically rummage through it and put cutlery and plates and things like that in here so then I can cook tonight and everything like that. So let's go to the loft. Oh, before we leave though, I have put on the gas. Uh, so I'd had it on 17 degrees and then I've opened the door. It's absolutely boiling in here. It's like a flipping sauna. <laughs> so my insulation works. The heating work, I'll fill you in on all the gas stuff in another episode. I just wanted to show you sort of where we're at because we've done a lot since I've last posted, but I've just been absolutely KO'd with the flu two weeks straight. So that's why you've not had any videos, but we're back on it now. So there's no need for me to be worried. All of this works. Psst, that's because we got the gas finished within a week of the LPG video going out. Psst, psst, we definitely went elsewhere to get it finished. <laughs> And we're done. I have gas and I have water and I have heating and I have hot water and we're all good now. We're all good to go. Let's go in the loft then, shall we? And sort some cutlery out. There's all my stuff. So I think it was like the last two years of my illness. I got really bad, needed looking after. So all my stuff moved out the house. All my stuff came into storage. And this is what we've got to sort through now part of the roof has fallen down you can tell this stuff's been in here for a while and I know I don't need a dining table does anybody want a dining table it extends <laughs> it's in good nick I've got four chairs <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of stuff I need to get rid of but these are the kitchen boxes and um, I'm just gonna get some cutlery some plates utensils things like that let's see what we can find I've put I've got music on I'll put a time lapse on and we'll just sort through it all and see what we've got Look what I've just found. <laughs> this is a, from my lion trip. Oh my days. 18 year old Becca. <laughs> oh, that's Wendy, that's Guy. They were my little pals. Look. Oh, <laughs> that's when the van broke down and we all had to push it just to get it jump started after we'd finished um, teaching at the school. The van broke down in the school car park. Oh yeah, it was Zimbabwe in 2008. Hyperinflation, all of that money was five quid and they were like $10 million notes. I think they've got $100 billion notes now. Ha ha ha, look. Ah, don't get too distracted, come on. Okay, that didn't take me as long as I thought. I've got a few little bits here. Chopping board, cutlery, bowls, plates, big plates, little plates, bowls, a strainer, some oven gloves, some oven trays, a wok, and a couple of mugs that I hate. It's so funny. So this stuff's been packed away for a few years. I've gone through quite a bit of a transformation. My style has completely changed and I despise them. So I will buy some nicer mugs and things like that, but they'll do for the time being. And also a dustpan and brush because, you know, you need to sweep it like every day. So all of this stuff needs a good wash. It has been locked away for a couple of years in the loft. So I'll go wash all of that and then um, we'll have to clear out the drawers in the van and start putting stuff in. We have started making the overhead cupboards in the last couple of days and I think 
obviously when mum and dad get back um, from their trip, I think that it will, we'll get it done in a couple of days maybe, the other two sets of cupboards. So maybe two or three days and then we'll have over cupboards, overhead cupboards in as well. And then I can actually start, you know, putting plates and stuff in. So I'll just have to like put them in a random place for now. But it's exciting. <laughs> I don't need to worry about not being warm enough in here. My days! And I've only got it on 18. As much that I'd absolutely love to keep a bit of MJ on um, and some music popping, YouTube copyright won't let me, so we can't have a dance party. But I'll show you what Dad's done for me. He's created an inside deadlock. So you know how this one I bought from, well, after seeing Gadget John, that's sort of like an internal safety lock. He's made one for this. And there is the piece that goes in it. I'll show you. This thing twists out. He's put a little, um, I don't know what it's called, screw bolt nut thing in there so I can tie this in. So this is where it sort of stores out of the way. And this, the cupboards are coming up to here so it will just be behind the cupboards. So we pull this out. He's put a long screw through and when the door's shut, both of these things line up and you twist that in. So they're both drilled into the metal and you twist that in and then when you try to go to open the door, it literally will not move. So you can see there's a bit of a gap, air gap. Obviously that won't happen when the van's locked. But that is it, you can't, you can't open the door. So nobody's able to get in. Because I won't be able to deadlock the doors while I'm sleeping for safety reasons. So this is like an internal deadlock. He's such a clever dude, isn't he? Bless him, wants to make sure I'm safe. So we have two, two proper deadlocks internally now as well. And it stores there. Amazing, eh? Now I've got to sort out this. Oh, that's the piece that goes there after we've carpeted. Fits in there like that. That other piece looks way better over that side, so we're going to do it. Copy it and do it that way. Gloves. There's just a few bits in here. This is my cutlery drawer, so I need to clear that one out. And then this was going to be my pan drawer, but this is actually my toilet drawer. I've been using that loads. Um, so I just need to sort out some drawers. So I can put pans in. The pans were going to go in this one down here. But I do like that for the toilet, so I don't know. I've got a bit of sorting out to do. Mum has made me these lovely cloth dividers so none of the plates shake or make noise when I drive. And Dad has also fitted a plug in the kitchen for me while I was ill, bless him. Risotto is cooking. We have prepared in here. Savannah is just about settling down. Bless her, she's been a bit stressed. And I am watching a grand tour. About to have some food and it's lovely. I'm gonna turn the light on because this is how I've got it and I think it looks really cozy. This is only on to cook because it lights up the kitchen very well until I put the lights underneath the kitchen cupboards. But thank you for the love. I'm having a great time so far. This one, on the other hand, was struggling quite a bit. She was very unsettled and very confused. Ooh. And she didn't really sleep well, which meant I didn't really sleep well. <laughs> so it's gonna take a few attempts, I think, to get Savannah 
used to it and comfortable but I had a wonderful time I loved it I didn't stop smiling the whole evening you getting your bearings she'll be fine eventually I know she will but now let's talk power because it's winter I was interested to see how much I would use and as you can see I topped up to just under nine percent by the end of the day so every 10 days I'll need to plug in or go for a little drive that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.